All right, so I'm back with another video. In the last lecture, we left off by creating our navigation over here. As you can see, if we adjust it, we have our hamburger menu and everything. However, the problem is right now is that we don't have any functionality. So if I click on sign up or sign in, it's not taking me anywhere. There's no navigation functionality okay the routing system is not working so that's what we're gonna work on in this video here alright so let's get started so over here I wrote a, a few notes here so we can tackle them um, step by step um, and so for the first step right here in order to make this happen uh, what I want to do is I want to import switch and route from the react router DOM okay so let's take care of that uh, da, 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 okay so we already have React DOM installed. We have that installed. Over here inside our main app component, we're going to destructure this from the React router DOM. So we need it switch and route. OK, so we pull those out. And now we can use it here. And under the header component, I want to start working on our the main area of the application. OK. And I'm here, I'm using just a regular HTML5 uh, tag, right, main tag. And uh, here I am going to use the switch statement. And the switch statement, I'll get to an explanation as to what's the purpose for it. But right now, just uh, follow along. So I have the switch statement. And I'm going to create some routes within the switch statement. Uh, the routes I'm going to start off with is I'm going to uh, one for the home, the home page, one for the sign up page, for the, for the sign in page, and then another one that's for not found page. That not found is if uh, somebody puts in the URL something that doesn't exist, it will default automatically to a not found page. It's like a 404 page for uh, something that was not found. So that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to put route. Uh, route and for the route we have to include a path. The path is the destination, uh, or what we're paying, or, or what the or what the route is going to pay attention to in the URL to look for a match. And if there is a match in the URL for this path here, the component we want to use is for this for this one in particular. This is the home page slash is we want to execute the home page or uh, display the home component okay and we're gonna do the the same for the other components so the other one I mentioned um, let's see path uh, we had we have sign up okay and the component we want to display for this is a sign up component by the way, we haven't created any of these components yet, but we will shortly. I just want to get this out of the way here. So here we're also going to have a path for sign in and a component to display is sign in. And then the default that I mentioned, if all else fails, is a component <coughs> And we're gonna call it not found, a not found page. Okay. All right. So right now we're getting some errors. Home that home is not defined. They're the same for the other ones. That's because we haven't created, we haven't imported it over here into the app. But we're gonna take care of that. Um, let's look over here. Um, what have you done yet? Okay. So I imported the switch and route from the React Router DOM into the app.js okay we took care of that okay that's taken care of add route for home sign up sign in and I found I took care of that I created the routes for those two and now we want to add the exact prop to the route okay so going back here um, we have I'm gonna put a property here for each route to indicating exact so the so the URL has to match exactly what this path is here, okay? Oh, we don't need the exact here, okay? So this path here has to be exactly matched with the URL, 
Okay, so let me go here. Remove that there. Next is we have to create all, uh, all four components in the components directory, okay? All four components, okay. Well, well before anything, um, actually, let me, we're gonna import these two here. Even though we haven't created them, we have to import, uh, we have to, imp you know what? No, actually, let me save that for later. Let me actually, let me create these, uh, create these components. Okay, so let's start off with the home component. Actually, let me open, let me widen this here, and I'm gonna create, I'm gonna create four files. I'm gonna do, uh, do, 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 do what I'm gonna change directory into the source components. Oh, oh no, we are in, yeah, we are in the components directory. Okay, so we can just uh, create these files directly here. So touch, uh, what are we gonna need? Um, I need the home, we need a home JS file. I'm gonna need a sign up file. I'm gonna need a sign in file. And I'm gonna need a not found file. So that will be created inside our homes directory, as you can see there. All right, let me wind it up again, clear up the console. And let me pull out those files. So home, sign up, sign in, and not found. Okay. So let's go here, create all four components and the components, okay. So for the home component, let's start creating, let's create the boilerplate for it. So here I'm going to import react from react and start creating our functional component here. This is gonna be home. And for the component, we have to use a return. For now, I'm just gonna have a P tag here with inside home component, okay? And we have to export it. So we can use it in different in other places. Export default home. Okay. So this is just a quick setup of boilerplate for now, just so we can test this out. Um, so for the others, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy and paste the home into the other ones, but I'm going to switch everything up. So this is a sign up component. So I'm going to switch it to sign up, and inside sign up component, change this to sign up. Okay, the same with the sign in component, change it to sign in. Inside sign in component, sign in. And then for the final one, it's not found, not found, not found, not found. All right, so I do have my components and they're still, even though I save everything here and all the components, I'm still receiving these uh, errors over here, home not defined, sign up not defined, and that's because over here, in the head, no, sorry, in the main app, we have to import it. We have to import all four of them. So import home from, let's see, we're currently in the home directory. The app JS is in the home, uh, uh, all the other components we created are in the same directory as the app JS. So here, this is gonna be home, import sign up from, Sign up, import, sign in from sign in. Okay, if you see here, all we're left with 
is an error for the not found. Okay, you see that we created, we imported everything from the home sign up and sign in. That's why this disappeared. However, the not found is still not defined because that was the remaining one we haven't imported. But once I import it here from not found, that error should go away. See, everything's good. All right, so we created our boilerplate for all the four components, the home, sign up, sign in, and it's not found. And we imported it into the main app component. So here we created our four, our four components. Import, we imported all of them, right? Add a path to links in header.js. Okay, oh, going back to remember uh, where are we at? Okay, app.js. I was trying to explain what the switch statement is. So let me go to the documentations. Let me do React router router DOM router DOM docs. Uh, let's see right here. Let's look for switch. Okay, switch. Over here, it says, renders the first child route or redirect that matches the location. Okay, so the switch is saying that the URL, if we click on a link, if we click on a link, say for example, uh, a user clicks on a link with the path that says, uh, let's say sign up for example, clicks on the navigation bar with the, the link that has sign up. If that path, uh, the, the, the React application will go to this line here and would say, look at the switch, and one by one, it will go through each route and see if there's an exact match. So if the user clicks on a link with, like say, slash sign up, okay, it will go here and it will say, okay, is, does this route here have a path with slash sign up? No, this one wouldn't match. So we'll go to the next one. This one with a path slash sign up, it is a match. So at that point, the application would execute this component right here. And that's what it's saying right here. Renders the first child route or redirect that matches the location. In this case, there is a match with the location, okay? The sign up is matching up with the URL or the link that the user clicked. So it would execute this route right here. And in effect, it would go to this line here component and execute this component here. It would look for the component called sign up. And that's where this component here that we have sign up would execute. Okay, so that is the purpose of switch. And if all else fails, if it goes through one it goes through this one, this one, and this one, and there's nothing, it would eventually fall to this one here that we created. It's our default fallback. If if there's nothing found, it would execute this, it would uh, display this component of not found. Okay, um, so let me, let me, give me a second here. So let me show you. Okay, but before anything, we have to go to our navigation that we created in our header. And if you remember from the previous video, we created our, our link tags here, but we had a placeholder for a hashtag. That's not gonna take us anywhere. Um, so let's fill those in, in order for these links to work. So for sign up, um, this is gonna be sign up, okay? For sign in, it's going to be forward slash sign in. And remember, these are matching up these links here. The, the, the property with two, the value is going to match up uh, with these right here. So in this case, we have four slash sign up. It has to match with what's over here in the route. So you can see slash sign up. Okay. So let's see. So we had that, 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 that. And for our logo, we also want if the user clicks on the logo, we want to take them back to the home page. Okay, so just a forward slash. And another thing I wanted to do is we had the sign up and sign in um, links, right? Over here, uh, let's go here, um, can close this page up. We had only the sign up and sign in, but 
I want to also have a home page, right, or home link, so that way the user uh, can navigate back home, right? Because right now they can, yeah, sure, they can click on logo and it will take them there, but uh, we want something else so they can visu visibly see and know that they can um, click on a link and navigate back home. So let's do that. So I'm going to I'm going to go here and I'm going to copy this one here. And I'm gonna paste it right in there. So, and I just have to change some things up here. This is gonna be for the home page. Okay. Switch that to home. All right. So now we have our links with their destinations where we want them sent uh, send them to. Okay. We did that for the home too, or for the logo. Okay. So now we can test this out. So this should work. Let's give it a shot. So if I click home, right, you see inside home component, right? Because remember, inside the home component we created, we had that boilerplate code just to test it out for the moment. Inside the home component, we had return inside home component. And we did the same for inside sign up component, uh, inside sign in component for the sign in, and the same for not found, inside not, not found component. Okay, so that's why if we go here, now the links are going to work. So here, if I click sign up, you see, inside sign up component. If I click sign in, inside sign in component. If I click logo, inside home component. So the logo and this home will take us back to the home. And you can also see it over here. If I click sign up, you see how over here in the URL, oops, in the URL over here, you see we have slash sign in, sign up. So it changes also when we click on the link. You see, sign in. However, Remember I told you we had a fallback, right? If none of the links in the URL matches, it's gonna default, it's gonna, the switch statement is gonna default um, all the way to the very end, which would display the not found component. Okay, so if I do, let's say something that doesn't match, let's say product, let's say product, click. You see, inside not found component, right? Because, because that component, because that route doesn't exist, so anything else, if the user did anything else, you see, not found. If I do sign up, sign up component. All right. So let's also take take a look quickly at the responsive view. So this is a smaller device view. You see, this is it's still functional. You see. All right, guys. So everything's working. Um, that's it for now. See you guys in the next video.